Okay, first of all, we will uh, completely disassemble this pretty rusty Shaspo rifle. Now add the bolt and uh, now here we have that rusty Shaspo rifle, the rusty barrel and now we put it in the electrolysis bath. So here you see the electrolysis bath.
So now we have cleaned that gun, cleaned that rifle. Here you see it's an all, the stock is all black, the wood is all black. Um, I think we have the, part, the parts all of the same number, so it's a number identical. Chest bow, sling rifle can be moved again. Also this one here. And uh, well, this is well how it looks like. Let's, uh, let's see, watching inside. Up. So here we have that new seal, a uh, new needle, and uh, of course, uh, this works properly. And um, well, I have uh, had some discoveries. Uh, um, the, uh, the system is working, but the way of nice uh, it can be read very good the number, and we can also see the markings. And um, but and here we have the the Sun Etienne 1866. But I've also discovered some deep uh, rust holes in the barrel, not holes, but as you can see that uh, we're very deep uh, rust here and here. And oh, well, let's see how this will work, how this will work while shooting it. I hope uh, um, <laughs> I have no accident. Yeah, here we have some missing of the wood. But uh, nothing, nothing heavy, and uh, well, the barrel and, uh, itself looks pretty good. I think inside, let's see. Um, we feel also some weakness, weakness of the barrel um, because of the rust. The cleaning rod is uh, original, but it's so rusted that there is no number visible on it. Okay. Well, yeah, that's the barrel now, so uh, we feel also the rust, uh, rust uh, holes or rust accident, rust weakness of rust of the barrel. And I, what I think is the, most, the highest um, uh, risk is these, these two um, places here. Well, so let's see how how this comes out and uh, whether it's it, the seal works properly and uh, well, let's, let's go to the range. <laughs> 